how to control your hormonal mood swings. <laughs> I love you so much. What were the biggest differences mm. between first trimester and second trimester? Can I answer this one? Not to be TMI. Well, let's be real, it's our channel, so there's lots of TMI. Well, hello you guys. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the channel for my second trimester, tr trimester, trimester, trimester. Oh my I have a cough drop, so it's really confusing my mouth as I talk. I was taught to not talk with your mouth like full food. <laughs> now my mouth is like, you're not supposed to do this. Anyways, welcome okay. back to her second trimester recap. Yes, y'all, we're sorry that this video is late. Well, technically, I am, who knows if it's late because who knows when the second trimester late. is. It's, it's late. It's so confusing. I'm 31 weeks as of today, the day that we are filming this. We are planning <laughs> on filming it around week 28 and life just got crazy. And then the other morning I went to film it, something pretty traumatic happened. And mm -hmm. so that's why the video is late. Thank you for your patience. We have so much to talk about in this video. We do. We really do. I am, my back is constantly in pain from carrying the team. I I've been sitting on that joke. For this one right here, okay? We You're gotta start. another little version of me. We have to start the video with a bump date because <clears throat> this boy is okay, I'll show them. huge. <laughs> Teasing. Look at this, guys. <clears throat> um, beso. Um, beso. Um, okay, so second trimester. I'm just gonna preface and say everyone says the second trimester is like the honeymoon phase of mm -hmm. your pregnancy. And at first, I was like, I don't get it yeah. because it didn't become honeymoon until like week, I would say like 17 for me. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is <laughs> incredible. Because I feel like my, my first trimester symptoms that if y'all miss the first trimester recap, we'll yeah. make sure to link that below. Maybe go watch that one first and then come back to this video. But I felt like my first trimester symptoms really lasted until week 16. And then 17, I was like, wow, I feel like I have energy. I feel more like myself. I took a trip to California to see girlfriends. They surprised yeah. me with this beautiful baby shower that Chad actually had a huge hand in. And it just felt like, I don't know, like the best. Second trimester really was the best part. Now that I'm in third trimester and things are starting to like really come on strong with like the back pain and I'm like, <clears throat> having a hard time catching my breath. We have a daily podcast and I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's so cute because she'll be reading the devotional and we try to keep a good rhythm for the people who are listening. Yeah. But you know, sometimes if you miss your breath or something like that and she'll, we'll have to pause. Yeah. And <laughs> gonna like re-catch my breath. But I do kind of want to walk y'all through second trimester and just a couple things. And y'all <clears throat> also, submitted a bunch of different questions about second trimester over on Instagram. And so I will definitely get to some of your questions as well. Cause I think that they're really good. One of the biggest questions was like, when did I start feeling baby mm. kick? Yeah, that's and a good one. I think that that was probably the most fun and exciting part of this entire pregnancy is where are you going? I, I realize I don't have a watch on. Best part of second trimester by far was starting to feel baby kick. Yeah. I think it, I didn't start feeling him until week, the end of week 17 or the first part of week 18. Something I did notice in second trimester was in first trimester, I literally kept notes of every single thing that was happening mm -hmm. every single week. Cause I did feel like so much change. Yeah. But then I felt like I kind of got in more of a rhythm and things weren't changing as dramatically in the second trimester yeah. as they were in the first. So I didn't like take all the notes and everything, but I will say that the nausea subsided a lot. Like I don't think after week 17, I like threw up at all, which was incredible. <clears throat> um, I think you only had a few nauseous moments. Yeah, like I still have like a just couple- just looked at a picture of me. No, I definitely, like there's a couple things, especially like right in the morning, but I feel like something that really, really helped me was yogurt. Mm -hmm. 
um, I get these little like Activia drinks mm -hmm. and they're like these little baby Activia yogurts and I will drink them as soon. Yeah, she pounds those up. things. Yeah, and it <clears throat> has really helped keep like the acid reflux and heartburn down. And anytime I feel it rising up again, yeah. I'm like, baby, please give me a I yogurt. think the interesting thing about pregnancy is I feel like it heightens all your other stuff it so Tori, everything yes yeah, so Tori already struggles a bit with a little nausea or not morning sickness but if we're riding in the car yeah like and she's on sick. her phone she'll get car sick so and I feel like pregnancy just kind of took it and just like ramped it up yeah and like now things that you you could do normally now you like have to have yogurt in the morning yeah yeah that's true something else that a lot of y'all asked was <clears throat> an update on how my skin is doing because with a boy i will say my skin has been doing great <laughs> with a boy um i feel like a lot of people say with girls they like quote unquote steal your beauty which is funny i feel like a lot of moms that i've talked to said that they struggled with more like acne in their pregnancy when they were having girls but i think it's just so person to person but i will say it also depends on your it skincare routine. also <laughs> does depend on your skincare routine. If y'all watch the first trimester video, y'all know that something really important to me was right when I found out I was pregnant, I was like, I want to make sure clean products, anything that's going on my skin is clean because it's so like, it really does like you're absorbing it to your bloodstream yes. and then that gets passed to the baby. Yes. And so we do want to thank Haldi for sponsoring this video. We have Absolutely. We now. We, guys, we. I am on the bandwagon. I know I talked about it in that first trimester recap, but let me just tell you that for, for me, in my pregnancy symptoms, we don't even have a kid yet and I'm already losing sleep. And a lot of it is just, you know, you guys know we have a lot of work going on and I'm trying to hold up a lot of things together. You ever seen that scene from Spider-Man where Peter Parker's holding uh, like this, you know, and that's how I feel. And I started noticing in my own skin I was like, oh my gosh, like my body doesn't repair like it used to. Yeah. Where I feel like in your late teen years, early 20s, you can eat whatever, you can miss out on sleep and your skin just like crushes life. But the older you get, it's like that lifestyle has diminishing returns on yeah. the effectiveness in, uh, on your skin. Yeah. And so I got started with Haldi yeah. and I was very nervous because I'm like someone who likes to be super low maintenance. I know it may not come off that way in videos. <laughs> <laughs> you should not have laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> Tori gets on these giggle trips where her belly oh. button sticks. <laughs> I'll see if I have a video or something. But when she laughs, her belly, her belly button like dances like this. <laughs> I'll be watching the baby move and he'll be doing something. And I'll be like, man, he's trying to walk out of my belly right now. We'll start laughing and my belly button will be like flat when I'm laying down. I'll start yeah. giggling and then my belly <laughs> It's very interesting. So what Anyways. I was saying is I got started and the basic yes. thing is with Haldi is you go to this test that they have. There's a link a in our description. Quiz, it's, yeah. a, it's a free quiz and it basically breaks down what your skin issues are mm -hmm. having or what your goal is or how much money you want to spend, how high maintenance yeah. or low maintenance you want to be. And I yeah. filled it all out. They recommended some products. I cut two off and I changed one. And then now I had this whole like little nighttime routine. I feel yeah. a little bit more confident because I think the big thing I was struggling with was like moisturizer i don't really yeah. care about a lot of other stuff yeah but feeling like my skin is moisturized because yeah. i know the older you get the skin i feel uh -huh. like gravity starts to happen yeah. and i want to make sure that i prevent that as much yeah. as can but i also don't want to be that guy who takes like forever forever i just yeah. i'm not i'm not that person and see i'm the opposite like i don't really care how long the skincare routine takes as long as i feel like it's doing everything <clears throat> that i like want it to do for my yeah. face so like for me when i took the quiz i didn't care as much about the time restraint i was more concerned with like my skin concerns and also they're very amazing when it comes to like you don't have to start from scratch if you yeah. have other products that you really really love and they're clean and they're good for your skin they will say like hey that product that you love it's what sweet, they did with amazing. with one of my uh, spfs yeah it's what they did with some of my dime products which y'all know i love dime too and so what was cool was like that first month it really just filled in all those gaps and then when i needed a refill they gave me suggestions like hey if you want to switch out this product here's a recommendation yeah and I did actually switch out a couple of them and I've been loving them and so I'm not gonna go into detail of like every single product they recommend and that I've been using because I do feel like it's less product specific because there's no like one-size 
fits all. And I think mm-hmm. that's why we love Haldi <clears throat> is because it's very specific to you. And so anyways, we say all that to say, make sure to take the free quiz below and let them know that we sent you. We highly recommend, and I do feel like it's done wonders for keeping my skin moisturized Ooh. during pregnancy. <clears throat> I will show one product though, cause I, I love this one. I have this, and this brand. Is, this is actually a body oil. So this is not something I use on my face, but that's what I love too, is like they'll even recommend like body oils and stuff. And so, so where do you put it? All over my body. <laughs> You're disgusting, baby. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I love this stuff so much. I had to get another bottle because I was running out. Can I do the little influencer thing? Is this going to focus? Not us, babe. We're not, th- we're uh, not those people. Why I'm I, sorry. Why can't I do that? Good luck. That? Yeah. We'll just take a photo. Anyways, sorry guys, but I really, really love this. I, it's funny because when I really struggled with acne, I felt like I used products that like stripped all the oil from my face and it mm-hmm. did the opposite because my body's like, oh, you don't yeah. have any oil. I'm going to produce more oil. Yeah. And then it just got worse. So. so if you do take the test and you let them know that we sent you, again, it's free, yeah. but maybe let them know like weird names, like Victoria yeah. and Chaz or Chad Dizzler or something. Oh can you imagine they get a whole list of these random names <laughs> i can't i literally can't okay back to the video um i'm going to pull up some of the questions just so it keeps me a little bit more on track because i do feel like the pregnancy brain at this point is very very real so i know a lot of y'all want to know <laughs> what our birth plan is and i did share a little bit of this and the Q&A that I did with Milena. We did like a TMI birth and pregnancy Q&A. Mm. So if you missed that, we will also <laughs> link that one below. But we are doing a home birth. That is the plan. Really, really excited about it, honestly. There's this book that I highly recommend. It is NMA's Guide to Childbirth. She's an amazing midwife and they just share all of these stories around different birth stories and I feel like it's been really cool to read this because like I said in that other video I think that culture and society pushes a lot of fear on women when it comes to childbirth and I am not here to say that it's not going to you know be painful or that it's not going to be hard like I'm I'm very aware that the process is not going to be like yay I don't feel a thing and it just is like Mm pain-free but I will say that I have learned so much about how the woman's body is so divinely created to birth a baby that it leaves me in awe of our creator. Like there's just so many things that work Mm -hmm. together to not only create and sustain this little life that's in me, but also to birth this child. And so I just think it's really, really cool. And obviously like we have a plan B, like if anything were to go wrong, we would go to the hospital the midwives like are very yeah there's a whole team here during the process and as we get closer we assess the risks and everything and so and that's not to say like any other birth plan is the wrong plan i think it's something that just needs to be prayed over it needs to be the right decision for you but this is the plan that we feel the most peace about because i personally just get a lot of anxiety in hospitals and to be in our peaceful home and just be able to really like create that environment and like this be the first place that baby boy like experiences Mm -hmm. uh, i'll cry so anyways that's the whole birth plan situation i have been doing i know a lot of y'all actually have been commenting like what birth course i've been taking i will say i've been doing the christian hypnobirthing course and i don't love that word i will say yeah i'm not a a huge fan of the word no birthing um because i feel like it has a very negative context around it but the the whole premise of it is to meditate on scripture during the birthing process and i did talk about that in the other video but it is crazy what happens to you physically mentally emotionally when you are meditating on scripture and on peace and on truth versus fear like it is Mm -hmm. crazy wild how your whole birth experience will be (coughs) like so different yeah. depending on Yeah, I mean, where you it, even if you just put it from the example of like stress and people say that stress is a killer and it is. When your body is stressed, you break out, you yeah. get bags underneath your eyes, you can't sleep well, maybe you don't want to eat, maybe there's all these different things that happens within your body when your body is stressed. Mm-hmm. And it's the same opposite side when your body yeah. is experiencing peace and yeah. you're walking in that. 
Yeah, and so I've learned so much through that birth course. I am probably three-fourths of the way done with it now, and I love to like listen to the things when I'm taking a warm bath and things like that, and so I just feel like I've learned so much, and she's mm -hmm. encouraged me to ask questions, and so there was even like a situation last week where I would have had no idea that I needed to like ask my midwife this question had I not been watching, and I just felt like it was a cool little like wow i'm so glad that i'm doing this i like yeah. felt prepared but anyways i do recommend and i will link below if you want to check that out if you are expecting did you ever get lightheaded feeling like you were gonna faint i will say second trimester i did experience a couple like dizzy spells where i'll see stars like if i get up too quick or i move too quick i'll see stars and that's still happening it doesn't happen all the time but it definitely does happen. Apparently it's very normal. Librium's a little off, <laughs> your body's growing, like things are happening. I shared this in first trimester recap, but I use two different apps. One is the what to expect app. And I will say it is so on point for me, like mm -hmm. almost to the day what I'm experiencing. It is weird how that works. I'll literally send Chad a screenshot and I'll be like, remember when I told you I was experiencing well, this like, this morning? So, so we just watched one this morning and the person was talking about how now the baby can distinguish sounds mm -hmm. from different musics. Yeah. And lately when Tori's been playing like different worship music, literally yes. the baby will just be chilling, just like yeah and then Thank she'll you. put on worship music and the baby is like like probably like Woo! It's just like freaking out she's having a party there is this one song that i've had on repeat it's by brian and katie torwalt it's called miracle in the works and i'm telling you it's been the coolest experience mm -hmm. because i'm like listening to like there's a miracle in the works and he's like kicking and like i can feel him moving in my belly and i'm like there is literally a miracle in the works and i'll get so emotional as you can see it's been really really cool to experience that next best places you found maternity dresses and clothes the, the dress gap. the dress i currently have on is from nothing fits butt and i will say they're probably my favorite maternity dresses i have three from them they were gifted their quality is absolutely incredible and i feel like they're very flattering. I feel like it's sometimes kind of hard to find dresses that are like flattering when it's maternity. And so I've loved them, but they are more of an investment. I have them on my Amazon storefront as well. But other than that, I found some really cute pieces on ThreadUp. I shared that in a recent Ooh, video. I thought of a cool little pro tip. Put them on your registry and then have your baby shower early. <laughs> <laughs> True, because you really don't start needing maternity, maternity stuff until a little bit later on. Like yeah. right now, I'm at the point where I'm like, I really need to go through my closet and like have a section of things that actually fit me mm -hmm. because I have a hard time going to my closet and I'm like, I have nothing that fits me right now, but I know that I do, it's just mm -hmm. not organized and so, Amazon really does have some amazing dresses too. The reason I suggest Nothing Fits Butt is because the quality is just like, mm -hmm. it's so much better. But there's some really cute options on Amazon and I will try to link as many as I can on my Amazon storefront and put that below for y'all. Oh, speaking of registry, what are you putting on your registry? It just found out that I'm expecting. Diapers. So excited, by the way. Congratulations. Congratulations. There's so much on the registry. I don't know if this would be weird I can link the registry below and this is like just truly like just if expecting moms want to go look at what I've actually put on there um, I know that a lot of y'all have asked and I've just felt very strange yeah, about sharing yeah. the registry do, do not get on there and go buy something Please don't. we 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 are so blessed honestly yes. if you plan on doing that maybe go buy something for another Someone expecting else. mom that yeah. you know completely agree um, but we will put the registry below just so you can kind of see because there's like different sections where there's like certain things for feeding and certain things for sleeping and like different stuff yeah. like that and so it would take me an entire video to show you yeah. everything but if you are an expecting mom and you're curious what to add to yours just as a resource i will put that below for you guys okay pardon the interruption <laughs> but we have a big update to remind you guys about if you watched our nursery reveal you know we mentioned that tori and i want to donate to either mothers or expecting mothers in need 
And the reason why it took a little bit longer to get this out is because there are a handful of companies who actually yeah. offered to match our donations. And so instead of picking five winners, we now have 10 winners. And so do you want to give a shout out to the brands who just like yes. stepped up to the plate to help? Yes, I'm going to list all the brands right here. These brands were so generous with Baby Masters. And so we were like, okay, we love these stores. And so we wanted to give gift cards. And so I was just mm -hmm. letting them know. And they were like, oh, we would love to match it. And so that's why we were able to bless double the amount of mamas. And you guys, we want to do this more often. And so make sure to comment below just like wow, wow or something if you want us to keep doing things like this because it blesses our heart to be able to bless you guys and so yay for the winners so yeah exciting. absolutely so the winners will be hearing from us today look out into your email inbox check yes. your spam folder just in case and on a more personal note tori and i got to read a lot of the entries there's over 500 entries and obviously we wish that we had enough resources to bless everyone mm -hmm. but this definitely lights a fire for us yeah. as we build a generosity fund which by the way everyone should be saving for that no matter how much money you make generosity fund should be a thing where we are prepared to be a blessing to others and so this just lights a fire underneath us to mm -hmm. try to support people. And so we're gonna be doing this more often, just like what Tori mentioned now, back to the video. What brand is your pregnancy pillow? Depends on which one. So I do have two and I will say BB Hug Me is my go-to favorite, like 100%. So what had happened was I got one on Amazon the mm -hmm. like rounded all the way around your body one yeah and i got it in first trimester and i think it was just way too much like i just didn't need all of that and so i found it really hard to sleep with because i do move a lot when i sleep but i way prefer i'll show you all the baby hug me one y'all see me just check her out <laughs> it's like this and it's just like i literally just like wrap my whole body around it do you like it because the color well, of course I like the color, but I like it because of the way it feels. And I feel like it just like travels around the house with me, like, <laughs> cause I don't make the bed with it. And so I'll like put it beside the bed. And then when I go to the couch, I like will bring it or if I go anywhere, cause it's really nice to like put behind my back now that I've experienced a lot of back pain. And apparently it's really nice after you give birth to baby too, because you can put it around you here and actually tie it behind your back. And then it like helps you breastfeed or feed baby. Yeah. However you're gonna the only thing it. I don't like about this are these little knobs. I mean, they're soft rubber, yeah. but whenever I'm trying to cuddle with her or if this ends up on my side, I'm like, what is <laughs> happening right now? That's true. That's true. So I personally love that one. There a lot of people like my friend Jess, she loves the one that goes all the way around her body. And I might need that in a little bit when I need a little bit more like back support. Yeah. Um, but I'll link the one I got on Amazon too below. So not to be TMI. Well, let's be real. It's our channel. So there's lots of TMI, but I hear second trimester is when your sex drive returns in full force. <laughs> Yes. Next. <laughs> what were the biggest differences mm. between first trimester and second trimester? Can I answer this one? Yeah. From my point of view? Yeah. Who's not pregnant, who doesn't understand what a woman's body is doing. Okay. Before people just start me, 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 me. I think the biggest difference was your joy. I think that you felt more connected once you're able to feel the baby move. Mm -hmm. I think that you felt more comfortable being pregnant, not just mm -hmm. physically, but mentally, because you had a lot of pregnancy yes. anxiety. anxiety. Mm -hmm. I think that another big difference was you embracing your body's changes. Yeah. Because obviously in the first trimester, your body, it's yeah. changing a lot, but don't like see it. second yeah. trimester is when your body, oh wow, like, oh, I'm you pregnant. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Those are my answers. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's definitely true. First trimester was really, tough it was like a crazy thing because i was experiencing this miracle and so i had this extreme joy but because i really felt like the enemy was attacking me with so much anxiety mm -hmm. and i didn't feel good either and we were traveling for like 30 days straight it was just a very interesting first trimester and so i do feel like second trimester i really like settled into being pregnant and when the symptoms start subsiding and then you start feeling the kicks and everything else it really is like mm -hmm. It is like the honeymoon phase, I would say. Yeah. Like the second trimester really was prime time. I'm so glad I did the California girl trip like when I did because mm -hmm. 
now in third trimester, I am getting a lot more like uncomfortable. Like yeah, I can't I I sit even anywhere say, too long. I wouldn't even say you're getting a lot more comfortable. I would say you're like significantly uncomfortable. More, yeah, it's yeah. like getting to a point where now I don't think we're gonna do a baby moon. There's a few other things that maybe we had lined up that we just canceled. And so yeah. now it's like, just keep her as comfortable as we can. Yeah, I will also say we kind of shared this in the video that was like, we got to meet baby and we did the 5D ultrasound and all the things like that. It's been two weeks to the day since we did that. And so now I'm 31 weeks and baby's just really big. Like I genuinely think that this baby is just a big baby. Comment below if you think he's going to come early or if he's just gonna be a big baby. <laughs> it's like one or the other. Because big he's, baby, just like his dad. Yeah, he's measuring almost two weeks ahead of what he actually <laughs> is in terms of like weight and length and so the lord said work in excellence so that's what you know <laughs> so i definitely am experiencing a lot more like i just can't really stay comfortable mm -hmm. um and i was telling chad like i think it's because i have a naturally arched back and baby just sits so mm -hmm. low that it's like really pulling on me and so i did just get like a little belly brace and i was like i didn't think we'd get here this soon but here we are <laughs> well also uh, yeah i think that's another encouragement for those who are expecting or who will be in the future is like do what you gotta do yeah i feel like a lot of people like we're like oh i don't want the the pregnancy brace or oh i don't want to wake up at 3 a.m and drink yogurt to help mm -hmm. with my heartburn apparently the baby's supposed to be really hairy which is awkward we were in the ultrasound she was like look at all that hair i couldn't really see it but she was like that's a lot of hair i I'm say like, that oh, because they say if you experience a lot of heartburn yeah. then you're, it's the baby's hair, hair. i guess but yeah. anyways and so you ultimately you got to do what you got to do yeah no 100 percent. how to control your hormonal mood swings <laughs> They there, fam. They are there. <laughs> I love you so much. I. It's just, it really is very crazy how intensely you feel. Everything. Everything. Like, if I am sad, I am, like, very sad. If I am frustrated, I am extremely frustrated. But if I am happy, I am, like... Mm -hmm. crying like if I'm sad I'm crying if I'm happy I'm crying if it's really funny I'm probably crying I'm just like crying a lot yeah our water bill is way down this past month just fill the bathtub with my tears <laughs> um, yeah I, I don't necessarily think that you quote unquote control them to be honest like the reason why a video wasn't filmed was I actually lost a friend the funeral is tomorrow and so there's just been a lot going on behind the scenes emotionally and we actually did a whole devotional series on how to process loss and there is some things like practically that you can do to like lift your spirits and if you are one of those people who just like feels whether you're pregnant or not just feels things on like an extreme level i will say maybe go back and listen to that devotional series but I will say like if I wake up and I'm in the word first and foremost and I like get outside and I move my body, there's some things that really just like mm -hmm. help me versus yeah. just like, oh, I'm feeling this, I'm pregnant, I'm going to lean into this and I'm just going to sulk, Yeah, you know, so. Yeah. Can I share some stuff? And I'm talking about the, the second trimester, not the third one. If you are pregnant or you're going to be expecting soon, I would say do as much as you can in the second trimester to allow you to press on the brakes yeah. for the third trimester because yeah. she was feeling great. She felt like she could travel. Now, granted, that's with the perspective that she's pregnant and growing a baby. Yeah. That leads me to my second tip is that if you're a guy and you're helping your wife with her pregnancy, one thing I constantly remind Tori of is what, babe? I'm growing a human. You're growing a human. <laughs> you are growing a human being inside yeah. of you. Give yourself some grace. Yeah. Whenever your body changes or things happen or whatever, or you're feeling nauseous or you're frustrated that you couldn't get something done or whatever that may be, yeah. you're growing a human. Yeah. I can't, I'm going to say it one more time. You are growing a human <laughs> being. That is a superpower. Uh, yeah. I can't grow a human being. He's see he loves me. He's like Chad. You better preach. You better <laughs> preach, man. You better tell him because I love my mom. Aww. Oh, see the feelings. I'm sorry. I feel like I've missed so many things. If you have additional questions, please leave them in the comments below because we will have more pregnancy related. Yeah 
content coming to you guys while we like continue to prep and get ready for baby to come and so I'm so sorry if I've like missed some things but hopefully this was encouraging or educational in some way. We love you guys. We just want to say thank you so much for all of your prayers over this sweet baby. Like the cards we've received, the gifts we've received, like this baby is mm -hmm. so incredibly loved and covered in the Masters fam prayers that every time I think about it, I start crying. And so before I start crying again, I do want to thank Haldi for sponsoring this video. Y'all make sure to take that free quiz below and let them know that we sent you. And yeah, we'll see y'all in the next video. We love y'all. We love you guys. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.